more than a year, we've been telling you about the harm spotted lanternflies are causing, and the advice has been to kill them, but some folks are trapping them instead. The glue traps are effective, but they also may be doing more harm than good. Channel 11's Talia Kirkland is live in Squirrel Hill after hearing from neighbors and the experts. Talia? Lisa, I want you to take a look at this. Some residents in this neighborhood are putting tape around their trees in the hopes to catch and kill the spotted lanternflies. But now experts are saying this may not be the safest method. They are gray, red, spotted all over. Carnage everywhere. And causing a lot of headaches this summer. If I had a dollar for everyone I've killed, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> Spotted lanternflies seem to be just about everywhere you turn. It's frustrating. Fortunately, they don't bite, they don't sting, but they're more of a nuisance. And our residents have had enough. Now placing sticky tape around their trees to try to trap and kill them. So the bottom row of tape uh, was put up around 12:45 today. So it's what two o'clock? Mm -hmm, two o'clock. Yeah. And while the method is effective, I don't know if we're realistically doing any good, but it feels like we're doing something. Experts say it's not safe for all wildlife. Unfortunately, sticky tape is very harmful to beneficial insects and to birds. These are pictures that the Audubon Society shared with Channel 11. That's a bird that got caught in one of the traps. Go to the hardware store and follow directions that are online to create a very simple trap that is also one that's not going to harm any other wildlife. The homemade traps are usually made out of netting, wood, and some type of plastic entrance, but depending on the size can be expensive. I think the nets seem to pricey if you're if you're only doing one or two trees, it may not be, but if you're going to try and do a neighborhood, I think you're really talking a lot of money. But experts say it's worth the cost. Yeah, I mean, we don't want people to feel guilty about putting up the tape because it really, it was a recommendation a couple of years ago. Now, for more information about how to make your own homemade net trap, you can visit our website at WPXI.com. In Squirrel Hill, I'm Tyler Kirkland, Channel 11 News. Oh.